My name is Jason Vialba, your Texas House of Representatives member from District 114 in the community and make sure they understand that we represent the kinds of issues and philosophies that are important to them. We care about family, we care about people, we care about small business, and we want to make sure that the government stays out of their well, Let's talk about that. I mean, the, the, that's the argument, right? Policy versus messaging. I would argue that our policies are better for the Hispanic community. I think we are doing a better job of reaching the Hispanics and talking about how our ideas and our philosophies can better better enable Hispanics to be able to educate their children in schools. I do think there's a real chance. We're working on this. We recognize there's an uphill climb here, but I think if you look historically at what we've done, we did well with George W. Bush in the governor's office. When he ran for president, he got over 44 percent of the vote, so we know it's possible to reach my brothers and sisters. Yes. I recognize that there's rhetoric out there in TV and radio that suggests that we have some problems with reaching our Hispanic brothers and sisters, but I think if you look closely at what we represent. We are the party that believes in less regulation. We are the party that protects the culture of life. You know, many of my Hispanic friends and relatives are strongly pro-life. This is an issue that we represent. I think we can If you ask Hispanics, and I see you have a pew poll over here, about what issues are important to them, they mention immigration down the list. I mean, it's education, it's the economy. So merely to, to use this issue as a divisive wedge in the community, I think is, is, is one of the, the methods that they've used to, to try to push us away, but really, Hispanics care about issues that we care about. Now, we are going to find a solution. Remember that all past efforts on immigration reform have been led by Republicans. It's our party that's trying to do this. The Gang of Eight is comprised and led by Senator Marco Rubio from Florida, a Hispanic who cares deeply about this issue. The last immigration reform we had in 1986, Ronald Reagan. The last try after that, George W. Bush. Better than that, I think we're right on message. We're right on philosophy. We understand this community better than our friends do, and I think we're going to reach them ultimately, as proved by George W. Bush. Where's, where's the disconnect here? Well, I believe we are making inroads. I, I mean, look at me. I'm a Hispanic Republican. I just won elected office in an Anglo district. So people look at me and they say, well, he's a qualified candidate. It just so happens that he happens to be Hispanic. But I think if, you, if there are more people out there who are like me, people of color, uh, Hispanics or African Americans or Asians, then the people that are voting can look at that individual and say, look, this person came from my background. This person shared Here's my philosophy, and I'm going to vote. No question. And again, the Democrats with Battleground uh, Texas have focused on this. And, you know, we ignore their efforts at our own peril. Uh, I, I think it's a well funded effort, and we have to be strong in the face of that. But we will not cede this territory. We will make sure that we fight for the, 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 the voters. We will win voters one at a time by knocking on doors and engaging the community in a real Jason and effective Vialba, way. Your Texas House of Representatives member from District 114. Thank you.